I am Dr. Leela Kaur from Maharaja Ganga Singh University, Bikane, India. The topic of my presentation is Fighter Remediation of Heavy Metals with Special Reference to Lead Removal from Soil and Water Environment. As we know, Fighter Remediation it is the treatment of contaminated air, soil or water with the help of plants. It is a developing technology with many advantages and certain limitations. However, this technology is renowned due to clean, green and cost effectiveness features. There are different processes through which plants take up contaminants like accumulation, degradation, extraction, filtration, stabilization and volatilization. Field application of fighter remediation requires in-depth knowledge on type of, of contaminants, selection of plants, type of medium, as these are the factors which decide efficiency of fighter remediation. There are plants which have high accumulation capacity for contaminants, especially for heavy metals. These are called hyperaccumulators, like duckweed. Duckweed is considered as a model for fighter remediation research as it plays an important role in heavy metal removal from contaminated water. However, we need to understand the mechanism of remediation and selection of duckweed species for a particular contaminant. Detailed studies on hyperaccumulated plants detoxification mechanism would be a progression. The objective of the present study is to provide an overview of the phytoremediation technology with current advancement. It also deals with removal of lead from contaminated soil and water environment. Now comes to experimental. The research work was carried out using lesser duckweed and Indian mustard plants. These are the species which were taken for the study. 6 gram of lamina minor was taken off of culturing tank and treated with 20 mg per liter of lead. While 20 seeds of Indian mustard were sown in a pot which were further treated with 800 mg per liter of lead. So both plants were treated with higher concentration of lead. These plants were allowed to grow and tape water was added daily to compensate the water loss. Samples were collected on 28th day. The fresh weight and the dry weight of the plants were noted. Then the lead were extracted from plant biomass using the standard method with the help of atomic absorption spectrophotometer. And the results shows that lamina minor and brassica juncia both have good lead accumulation capacity in water and soil system. So lamina minor have 2.58 mg per kg of lead accumulation while Brassica juncia show uh, 685 mg per kg of lead as it have uh, been treated with 800 mg per liter of lead concentration. The outcome of the study was that lamina minor and Brassica juncia both are effective bioaccumulator especially for lead treatment from contaminated soil and water environments. Now comes to conclusion. Fighter remediation research is progressing. Currently, it is focused on enhancing fighter remediation efficiency of plants by developing transgenic plants. This could be done by using genetic engineering approaches comprising overexpression of genes involved in metal uptake, transport, and sequestration. Field application of transgenic plants is very few and need to be increased for its accomplishment. Phyto remediation covers various research fields. Hence, experts of agricultural science, botany, chemistry, environmental science, genetic engineering, microbiology, molecular biology, plant physiology need to do collaborative research for advancement of knowledge. This is all from my side. Thank you.